Welcome to our green screen tutorial. This is Jason Cole from Cole Studios. This is the image we're going to be working on today. It's a great image with the model. She's got quite dark hair, so we're going to bring some more detail out through that hair. Plus, we're actually going to uh, pull the green screen out and put a brand new background in. Do a little bit of skin smoothing and just a little bit of touching up to the model. Okay, let's get started. So first, we're going to drop this down into Photoshop. Open it up. Beautiful. We're going to give it some fill light. See that? Just brings out a little bit more detail with the fill light. Drop the temperature down just a little bit. Yep, out there looks pretty good. Open image. Then we're going to go put the image over into the center. We're going to go image, auto contrast. Beautiful. Now we're going to go image, adjustments, shadow highlight. Now the shadow highlight fit is a really cool filter just to bring out, see the details in blacks. It's really nice. We're going to go to about here, 18, 18, and 36. Click OK. Looking good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the green out. So we're going to double click the background. Bang, unlock the background. We're going to go select color range. Click on the green. Now remember I said before another tutorial, hold shift down and just drag it down. All the green is nicely selected now too. You can pull this detail up a little bit more. It's probably maybe about 130. Basically once the model starts to appear in the black, you basically can't pull it up anymore. But I'd say probably, you know, from experience, probably about 130. It's a nice, nice uh, dark silhouette of the model. Click OK. Now click Shift F6 to feather. Just feather, say, two pixels. Two pixels is fine. Click Delete once and twice. What we're basically doing there is just basically removing any green out of the image. Okay, Command D to deselect. Command U. What we're going to do, we're going to go to green down here and just remove all the saturation of the green to make absolutely sure there's no green left in the image. Beautiful. That looks really good to me. Now we're going to go filter. Nick Software Color Effects Pro 3. With Nick Software, you can buy that from nicksoftware.com and you also get a 15 day trial of any of their products. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it because Nick Software is just rocks. It's the best software. Okay, going to go Dynamic Skin Softener. Again, we're, we're looking at uh, the color each 25, the small details 20, the medium details 10, and the large details 5%. A nice line there is just is, works really, really well. Click OK. Okay, it's going to add that layer in. Here we go, the layer's adding in now. You'll notice the model skin will really smooth right out. Okay, it's waiting for that to add in. Beautiful. So there it is. See, the skin's just really beautiful and smooth now. Okay, hold shift down, click the second layer, right click and click merge layers because we just want those two layers together. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our background, a stock image we've got. So click here, click Photoshop comes the background then what we're going to do we're going to drag that background into here holding shift down and then let go okay so then we're going to drop the bottom layer up so now the background's behind it we can just close this because we don't need this anymore I'm going to pull this over into the middle now what we're going to do we're going to pull this over because i like that little window there but the problem with doing that is we get a little bit of space up here in the top right hand corner where it's just going to be white when when it's flattened so what we do we hold down command and we click new layer and that puts a new layer at the bottom of the uh, of the layer stack. Then we go over here to the color picker and click the color picker. It's called the eyedropper tool and click say around about. So there looks pretty good. Then click G, which is the fill tool. And we're, ba we're already on the bottom layer. So basically what we need to do, we need to make sure we get onto that layer or it'll fill the wrong layer. Click there and bang. Basically what we've just done there, we've just filled the bottom layer. Okay, now hit V again, because we want to move that over. If you notice here, there's a little bit of a line here, which we can't have, so let's move it over to about there. Now it just looks like part of the uh, part of the roof. Then what we do, we go layer, flatten image. And there's your image done, simple as that. So now we've gone from a green screen image to an image which has got it just a nice background image. That's the original image. That's our Photoshopped image. So you see it looks much better. Original, Photoshop. So we've brought all the detail out in the model. That's it. So uh, thanks for watching and you'll see more tutorials at www.colstudios.com.au.